What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cal Commas, and you tune in to the Stew Show. What up, though? It's me, Stu, man. Special guest in the building. This is the Stu Show. Cal Commons, what's up? What up, homie? What's going on with man? Just chilling, man. My God, my God. We appreciate you coming in, man. Sure, I appreciate you, man. You just dropped a single, man. I'm sure the fans want to know more about you, so I want to bring you in. Let's talk a little bit. You know, sure. behind the scenes. So, first of all, where are you from? I'm from your trip. I'm from okay. the west side. I'm from Linwood, Phillips. Where? Okay. Phillips in the 2014 from the sale. I, uh, I was in, you know, I used to get in a lot of trouble, so I was, I was forced to, you know, migrate. I stayed on the okay. east side for a minute. Oh, five different high schools. Dang. But I ended up in Pontiac, though, so that's Word. like my, uh, you know, soft side of Pontiac, so that's okay. like my second home. Word. You know, you know, okay. I, well, how did you start getting into music? Man, when I was, I, I always loved music when I was little, like two years old. I was rapping and cussing before I was walking. Like on, on Linwood, all the OGs, man, they used to come and pay me like to rap. You know Word. what I'm saying? I, I knew that, like that's a that's an old old school story. I knew the Ghetto Boys, <laughs> word for word. You know word. what I'm saying? What was the time where you looked up and you said, "Hey, I want to take music seriously"? When I when I was uh when I was in prison, man, I was just I was looking for a, a, a gift. Trade or, or something that I could, you know what I'm saying, yeah. fall back on the street like that I could move forward with. And shit, the music just came about. I literally just, you know, I always used to have raps in my head and shit. And I literally just wrote a rap on a piece of paper. And the rest is history. What were you in prison for? Um, and I had got caught with a half a slab. Wow. Oh, seven. How long did you do? Seven years. Wow. Yeah. I did, they gave me two, it's crazy, they gave me two years, I had a good lawyer, shout out to Randall Upshaw, <laughs> and they called me back on appeal and gave me five more. Yeah, they said the judge had used his discretion in sentencing me, sentencing me. I didn't get a, you know, they got the mandatory minimum, right. so like, yo, at the very minimum, the mandatory you got to do is seven years with the guidelines, so. You know, he filed some motions and should I end up getting two and a half. So a year and a half later, you know, the prosecutor, like, you know, I guess she looked over the case like, oh, no, nah, you ain't get enough time, fam. They sent it to the Court of Appeals and, you know, they ruled in her favor two to one. So they called me back for resentencing from the same judge. You know, I had a speech prepared for him and everything. You know, I done changed my life over to the Lord. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And they said, no. Nah, he like, you know what, I believe you, Mr. Clark. And if everything you say is true, this sentence shouldn't affect you. Boom, five more years. I, I, I almost had the big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I said I had the big one in that motherfucker. Yeah, right. it gave me five more, man. So, of course, I mean, <laughs> spending that much time in jail coming out, um, wanted to take the music seriously. What was the first thing that you did? When I, you know, I was fucking around, you know, as far as. Uh, you know, writing writing raps in the joint. When I came home, uh, my dog Drew Holiday. Shout out to Drew Holiday and Pontiac. Uh, when I, you know, I used to keep with him on the phone and shit. He used to send me money, pictures and shit. When I came home, he had gave me like thirty beats. Mm. Like, and he like, you want to rap? I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to do. He like, huh? Ant beats, little Ryan, hell of all that. So, shit, I went to work. I get up every morning and you know, I ain't had nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. Put the pop his, pop the disc in and. You know, see what I can come up with. And I, I kind of like forced myself to write to damn near every beat. Right. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it worked. At, at the very least, it was like practice. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward to, you know, the song that you have out right now, which is called. All Lies on Me. Or oh. actually, it's called A E O M. Okay. It's but it's an acronym for All Lies on Me. Fast forward to that. I mean, working with Nisha Nishay and hell of a. I mean, how was that experience? That shit was crazy, actually, because I was uh, that was the first time I ever got to be like hands on with the beat, kind with of. the process. Yeah, wow. cause I, you know, I uh, I linked up with Hella and shit. Um, he was in the studio. He was just playing some beats. He making them right from scratch. Like, how you feel about this one? How you feel about this one? And I'm like, yeah, it's dope, but you know, that ain't it. You got it, <laughs> but that ain't it. So I just asked him, cause in fact I was in Cali with my homegirl, and she, uh, you know, she worked with Benny Boom, and shout out to Taylor. Uh, and she was, uh, she had told me like, yeah, we doing a, um, 
we trying to do a challenge or something to, to boost up the record. So she was like, can you do something with, with one of the Tupac records? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, I see, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I asked her, I'm like, shit, can you do something with that all lives on me? Yeah. Like, shit, oh, that's easy. Right. So he got to doing it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, I was feeling it, you know right. what I'm saying? So he, you know, tweaking, I'm like, yeah, put this in there or take that out, you know what I'm saying? So he was really hands-on. That's the first time I ever been hands-on with a beat. Now, yeah. I wasn't hands-on, hands-on, but I did have my little <laughs> input, take this out, put that in there. So yeah, that bitch turned out to be a banger. Nisha laid her on. Um, I was going to say, how did Nisha come about with this? I had, because see, I had, uh, you know, I had got with Floss, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I need, you know, I want to do the verse with Nisha, whatever, woo, woo, woo. So we had took care of it, but... I was just waiting on the beat. I had got a beat from uh What made you choose Nisha? She was just popping at the time and when I get when I when I get a feature for, from somebody, I look for somebody who can bring something to a mm -hmm. record that I can't bring to it, a different like energy. Cause like I, I mean I'm a s I'm a spaz on it. I need somebody who's gonna bring some that extra bit of, you know, oh, season, yeah. you know, that extra uh, that spice. And right. Nisha, you know, she it. Right. She, she you know, she brought it. So uh you know, I sent, I, I had got a beat and floss, you know, I hollered at floss in the club. He like, man, you should have went to hell. You know, they got that, you yeah, know, they in sync, man. You, right. know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I got what hell he sent them the beat. In fact, hell of it, he's so cold, man. He was, he was writing the hook in the studio when he made right. the beat. You know all what right. I'm saying? So uh, she ended up switching the hook to something else. And at first, I, when Flaw sent it to me, I was like, man, she switched it. I was kind of sold on the hook Kelly had. But then I caught myself still saying it in my head. Oh, man. So you I'm started like, man, that bitch kind of dope, though. <laughs> so then I was kind of, you know, I was kind of apprehensive because I'm like, damn, man, I'm fucking with Pac song. You know, Pac fans, they don't like you fucking with right, right. So I'm like, I got to make it dope. So what I ended up doing, and a lot of people probably ain't even peeped it, the All Lies On Me album, it's like, you know, it's a double, this is like yeah. 27 songs. Yeah. So I took every song off the album, every one, and turned it into a bar. Wow. So when you pay attention, you can you can go back and every, you know, you really every song, all 27 of them, I set it in a bar. Wow. So I'm like, niggas ain't doing that, so that'll kind of, that'll make it for sure dope. So right. pop fans won't trip on me too much. I mean, you know speaking man? of pop, I mean, you know, musical legends, who's someone that really inspires you when it comes to the music? Like now, I, I mean, my era, I ain't gonna lie, was Cash Money. Mm. Like that was my, Cash Money was my that was big you. time was everybody get the right. Lil Wayne, BG, all them, but uh, then it was like, uh, like Jay-Z, mm. for sure, Jay-Z. He like, that's like my favorite. Nah, I fuck with Nas too. But if I could just pick one, it'd be Jay-Z. Would you rather get a deal or would you rather stay independent? Honestly, I think I wanna stay independent. Mm. And why is that? I mean, it, man, a lot of them, a lot of the labels, man, they raping the guys, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, you, you basically, they, they doing all your promotion and stuff, but they get two, you know, them 360 deals, they want a piece of all your shows and mm -hmm. all your merch. I'm not signing that 360, man. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be independent where I can get all my money, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, the one, I'm the one making these records and, you know what I'm saying, in the studio and, and doing this, give, give me all my money. <laughs> you said I, I, I need to go. I need mine. <laughs> That's funny. I need mine. Now I'm saying I'm already getting here. I need mine. <laughs> How do you feel about the Detroit music scene right now? I feel like it's on the rise, man. Everybody, you know, shout out to everybody doing their thing. It's, it's a lot of people popping off. You know what I'm saying? It's looking good. I just, you know, I hope everybody keep, uh, you know, keep the keep the energy going, keep the good music going, and you know, keep the keep the spotlight shine shining on us so we can we can elevate, you know, it can be the new Atlanta where everybody get to pop, you know what I'm saying? It's our turn. Shit. When I talk to new artists, I like to get a little self assessment from them. So I wanna know when you look at yourself, what do you think it's gonna take for you to blow? <clears throat> I just think, um, Cause my, I mean, the music is there. I, I, I make dope music, you know what I'm saying? So it's just getting it in people's ears. You know what I'm saying? Once you hear it, like if you hear, like right now, I'll play you three of my songs that you've never heard before. You're not gonna think they whack. Right. You gonna fuck with it. Right. So it's just it's just getting the music in people's ears. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's well, speaking of the music, man, let's get right into the single. Let's drop a little snippet right here, man. Check it out. Let's see what y'all think.
shorty wanna be a thug My bitch say can't be your girl, I'd rather be your nigga Cause I'm a Drop a comment, man, let us know what you think What's up? Can we expect like a full project anytime soon? Right? Yeah, the mixtape is on the way. I just okay. got all the songs mixed and mastered, so be on the lookout for Product of America. Um, I'm actually getting the cover made right now. Okay. As soon as the cover made, we, we, we you might drop it. You <laughs> Product of America, be on the lookout. It's a, it's a bang. You won't, you won't change the song. You play it all the way through. Word, word, word. Ooh, like I said, man, we appreciate you coming through. Let them know where they can find the, the single, you know, uh, your Instagram, every, social media. Everything, um, we just dropped a video on World Star, um, so look it up. Cal Comics featuring me, and shit. A E O M Oil Eyes on me. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Cal underscore Commas. On uh, Twitter, Cal underscore Commas. And on um, Snapchat, at Cal Commas. Once again, man, appreciate you coming. Appreciate you having me. Y'all heard it here first. This is Still Show. Let's get it.